Up there in the darkness, a million chunks of space rock threaten the Earth. Each one is capable of devastating a city and killing tens of thousands of people. If we're going to avert this disaster, we need to track every single one of these objects. Of objects in the size range of the Chelyabinsk impactor, well, we've only found about 1% of those so far. And we think that there could be hundreds of thousands to even millions still out there that remain to be found. The trouble with finding really tiny asteroids is that they're hard to see unless they're very, very close. NASA has issued the Asteroid Grand Challenge, seeking ideas from scientists worldwide to help find and track hazardous asteroids. Two people who answered the call are former astronauts Ed Liu, who flew on the ISS, and Apollo 9 veteran Rusty Schweikart. Together, they head up a venture called the B612 Foundation. The actual deflection of an asteroid is the easy part. The hard part is finding them first. And you cannot deflect an asteroid that you haven't found yet. We've got about 11,000 near-Earth asteroids that we know about now. The next step uh, in finding the remaining million objects that can do serious damage uh, if they hit the Earth uh, is to get a telescope into space. Looking for near-Earth asteroids is challenging because they are small and dark. And ground telescopes can't pick them out from the blinding glare of the sun. B612 plans to get around that by sending a space telescope into an orbit closer to the sun and turning it around to look out with the sun behind it. We're going to be launching an infrared space telescope and it will look out at the Earth's orbit and basically pick up all the asteroids uh, of significant size that cross the Earth's orbit. Even though asteroids are dark, they absorb heat from the sun and glow in infrared. B612's telescope, called Sentinel, will be fitted with super sensitive infrared detectors to pick out that glow. But right now, B612's biggest challenge is finding donors willing to pony up the half a billion dollars needed to launch Sentinel. That has Rusty and Ed crisscrossing the country looking for people who want to save the planet. My goal tonight is to give people a sense that we as humans can actually change the, the course of the entire solar system such that this planet is no longer hit by asteroids. This is a current map of all the known asteroids. What Sentinel is going to do is to increase this map by a factor of 100. Using this dynamic map, you will be able to know when, where, and which asteroid is going to hit the Earth and where they are at any given point. For potentially hazardous objects, we really want to understand their orbits. We need to know the orbits because we need to be able to predict impact events in the future.